We are out here trying to get the opinions of concerned Nigerians on the issues affecting us and what issue they think the next president should tackle first. Do you have your voter's card? Yes, I have. I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have my voter's card. Yes, definitely have my voter's card. Yes, I have. Yes, I've done that. Yes, I have it. Yes, of course, yeah. Yes. Yes, I have it. I have voter's card. Yes. Yeah, I do. Yes, of course. I'm with it here with me. Not yet. I had a lot of frustrations while on the process. What are some of the issues you encounter trying to get your voter's card? I was at the, my centre two, about two months ago. They told me to come back next month, which is in Guagalada. So last week I went there. No, sorry, this week I went there. The guy told me they have gotten the enough, you know, card, but they have to sort it out. I said, how many people are you sorting? So I should come back next week. So the INEC people should buckle up and distribute this thing properly. For our first tenor, ha, it was very stressful. I had to run a card to get to that voter's card because I need a good press that will, that will sit on that seat. But considering what is happening now, <laughs> I cannot see. At the time I collected mine, the process was seamless. No hitch. When you register for the uh, voter's card, for you to go and get the voter's card, there is this set of people there. I don't know. I don't know how they call them, but there's this set of people there that when they knew that they knew your mind and they knew who you are going to vote for, they're going to make it very tough for you. And I got mine. It's, it was stress-free. But what is happening right now? I couldn't know, I don't know who, where to apportion the blame to. It was stressful. In fact, I just have the paper. I've not collected the card. It's very, very stressful because they don't want us to vote for our right person. It's difficult, very difficult. In uh, Karodia that we stay, you spend days before you can get it. It's very difficult. Then we didn't have uh, much places for people to come and register. So the few places we have, we had so much people to, uh, who were coming to do a registration, of which it was very slow. It made a lot of people tired. Some almost gave up. But to the glory of God, a lot of us were there and were able to walk to the end to make sure we have that voter's card because you know how important that voter's card is. It was stressful, but we thank God, you know. Of course, it is a bit stressful anyway. The last time I went, they said the thing is ready, that we should still check back. But we'll continue hoping that we must get it. Once the next president emerge after the 2023 general election, what is the first issue you think he should tackle? He should hold one cutlass in his right-hand side Again, his left hand side. Chase away all the evil leaders. These corrupt evil leaders. As he's scattering, scattering them this way, this way, he should be using boom to sweep them to the other side of the road. We don't want to see them again. They are evil leaders. They have been suffering us, killing everywhere, hunger everywhere. Evil leaders. We don't want to see them again. The price of commodities in Nigeria is just on the high side. Things are really difficult. People are going through a lot. The stress is much. The price of the of commodities on the high side. If they can look onto them, they should do something about it. The most pressing issue now is security. When there's insecurity, nobody is at peace. So, but when there's security, at least there's peace. Everything will go normal. Job opportunities. <laughs> With what is happening in Nigeria, <laughs> job opportunities should come first. Look at we the youth now. We graduated years ago. No job. We go. I'm a marketer. No year and there because there's no job opportunity. I see people sitting on money. So the first thing that we should tackle, we as youth, is what? Job opportunities. That's Our expectation on the forthcoming president is the issue of insecurity. Because without life, whatsoever thing you think you're having, whether job or any other things, is not necessary. So insecurity is one of the forefront of all Nigerians' expectation. Unemployment. Uh, of course, security is sacrosanct, and um, uh, for a government that is coming in new, we expect that we should have um, sanity you know, in terms of security aspect, because that's the bedrock of every government, or that's the purpose of every government. If he wins the election, we expect that he will keep to his words, but if he doesn't, four years will kick him out. There is hunger in Nigeria. The next president should help Nigerians so that they can see food to eat. Many graduates are on the street looking for a job. He should help them with employment. At least let 
the full stuff be okay for people to buy. Things are too expensive now. Imagine rice is one three, one four, one two. No, it should not be like that. Full stop should be okay for people to buy, and then job opportunities should be granted to graduate and undergraduate. Anybody looking for a job should be able to at least get a job. First thing for a country, a president coming in to do, as in the first priority, should be to tackle the unemployment rate. It's very high. I think the first thing the next president should do is to address. Uh, some programs that will address uh, economic issue of this nation that will bring relief to the people that will bring employment on board and therefore promote uh, social and infrastructure facilities of this country because people are really suffering a lot of people are suffering we have so many young graduates that are jobless uh, but some of them are ready to work but there's no lucrative job you see them roaming about, even graduates doing POS everywhere along the road. To create jobs, and then uh, that's what we really need. In the, and then to to bring the to unite the entire country together. A lot of actually, I don't want to use the word damaged, but in all sectors, unemployment, infrastructure, everything, everything that they could actually do to put back the the country in its own better shape. It's to tackle security. There's a lot of insecurity in the nation. Everywhere is insecure. It's only the rich that can fly by air. The poor that fly by road, they are the mercy of the bandits. It's to reduce all the, the food prices. It's to reduce all the food prices and let the food prices be less so that the poor, the poor people can eat, so that the widow can survive and the orphans can survive. They should consolidate on improving employment. The young generations need employment. One of the critical issues that should be tackled for development of our dear nation now is education sector. Because that is the basis and the fundamental basis of human capital development that would turn around the situation of the country. When they come on board, they should know that people are on the ground, not everybody that is up, not everybody can feed his or her family now because of the situation on ground. Most people now, they are facing challenges. When this our president came on board, many people lost their job. The women become hustlers to feed for the family. Where to cater for the family? Employment. Employment. Yeah. Employment. We have a lot of youth with um, young talents, different things they can do, but you know, there's no opportunity. Yeah. Unemployment. Because it doesn't make sense for the government and private entities to, um, after providing um, um, tertiary education and um, having products from that um, um, level of education, and there's no job. It's really painful, sincerely, because almost everywhere, every year, we have people writing jam, and we have people graduating, and there's nothing for them, sincerely, and it's really frustrating. The first thing that I have to tackle is this insecurity, because in a situation or in a country whereby there is no peace, there will never be a development. The first issue that is obvious that I know that you know also is insecurity. Aside from insecurity, the major issue I think is youth unemployment. Insecurity. Yes, the reason why I mentioned insecurity before economic, uh, because without insecurity, there will be no platform uh, for economic development. The most pressing issue is that of security and hunger. There is abundance of hunger in the land, arising from mismanagement and poor leadership. So we want the next president to deliver maximally the dividend of democracy. Let the people enjoy for once. Let hunger be reduced to its barest minimum. Let insecurity be addressed. Let's at least for once sleep without two eyes closed.